Hello guys, uh, so today we will be solving a problem uh, from capacitors. Uh, if you want to try it on your own, you can pause the video. Uh, I'm starting now. So here we have a system of capacitors and a uh, voltage source. So uh, the question asks us to find the total energy stored in the system. Uh, and in the second part, uh, it asks if this energy is equal to the work done by this source. So before we start the question, uh, we have a reminder here. So here, if we have capacitors in series, uh, we find the equivalent capacitance like this in this formula. So we sum the one over the inverses and then take the inverse of the total thing. Uh, if we have capacitors in parallel, then uh, the equivalent capacitance is just the sum of them. And the energy's formula is this, U equals 1 over 2 CV square, where V is, v is the applied voltage and C is the capacitance. So, uh, considering this, let's solve the problem. We have a voltage source here, so uh, we can write the same thing as this. This is the C equivalent, and this is our voltage. So we have to find the equivalent capacitance between these terminals. Uh, so let's apply the formula. Here we have a parallel one. So um, these will be added C equivalent is equal to 1 over 3 plus uh, in series, so plus 1 over 3 plus 6 I'm writing it like this plus 1 over 6 and the inverse of it. This is our C equivalent. So let's do the calculation. C equivalent is equal to uh, let's multiply it with this, multiply this with uh, 6 6 over 18 plus multiply it with 2 2 over 18 multiply 3 3 over 16 and 18 I mean, uh, to the minus 1 and these 6, 8, 11 11 over 18 and the inverse of it C equivalent is equal to 18 over 11 and uh, we found the C equivalent which is this so now we can apply the formula U which is energy equal to 1 over 2 C V square so if we plug these values in we obtain U is equal to 1 over 2 C V square. But uh, don't forget, we have microfarads here, so our equivalent capacitance is actually in microfarads. So uh, micro is 10 to the minus 6 so I'm writing 10 to the minus 6 here uh, and if we calculate this we obtain the result third, uh, point 0.13 joules approximately uh, 
So this is our answer for part A. And in part B, we are asked to state whether this is equal to the work done by this source or not. Uh, and the answer to that is, uh, if these components are ideal, yes, but uh, in real circuits, there is always a resistance uh, in the components, even in wires. So, in real life, no, but if it's an ideal circuit, yes. So, uh, it's all for this question. Thank you for listening. Bu da kesin çünkü yansıdı çıkıyor.